Okay, so just taking things a step further when we're talking about imaging, which is something that comes up really frequently on step one, you wanna just have a basic understanding of where things are. Now, when we look at the PA view on this X-ray, it's pretty similar to what we just talked about. So right atrium is making up the right border of the heart, left ventricle is making up a pretty significant portion of the left border. You can see here's the superior vena cava right above the right atrium. Remember, the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava are going to drain into the right atrium. Okay, so all that venous blood is going to go right atrium, right ventricle, it's going to go through the pulmonary arteries, it's going to go to the lungs, get oxygenated, go through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium, to the left ventricle, out through the aorta, right? And that's the classic pathway of, of uh, blood flow in the heart. And so we can see the aorta up here. Now, if I had a widened mediastinum, that might be suggestive of what something we just talked about. How about a thoracic aortic aneurysm, right? That would be very classic for a widened mediastinum, among some other things, right? You could also think about anthrax, dissections, right? Those would all be classic. So here's your aorta in the middle. And again, the big thing is, look at where this right ventricle is at. It takes up a huge amount of real estate in the uh, front of the heart. And if we look at this on a lateral view, look at that right ventricle. It's anterior. So if I had some kind of penetrating injury into the heart, what's, what's it gonna hit? Most likely, if I'm gonna play odds here, I'm gonna say right ventricle. Okay, now there is an exception to this. I'll talk about this in the, in the next slide. You know, and obviously the lungs can, can you know, very commonly be affected. But if it's, you know, if my sternum's running in the middle here, right? And I just go, you know, parasternally, I'm very likely to affect this right ventricle, particularly in the third and fourth intercostal space. If you look at the back of the heart, you can see posteriorly, what do we have? Left atrium. Very difficult to see the left atrium on the PA view, but you can see on the lateral view, this is left atrium. Again, this enlarges, it can push onto the esophagus. And another structure here, this is the aortic knob. So this is essentially going to be more of the distal aortic arch, because remember, it's gonna come up and then it's gonna run down as the descending aorta. So it's gonna kind of curve posterolaterally uh, as it forms the descending aorta.